what's happening now, if my theory is correct, is this is, this is the part where there's a Q&A, and we're still banned from that, but we were also banned from whatever business they were conducting in there, as Dr. Paul present. Any idea how much longer? He's answered about three questions. He'll probably answer a few more, and then y'all should be right back in. <laughs> What's going to happen once we get back in? Yeah. He's talking it's, and then answer questions. It's probably just going to be more of him taking pictures. It might be good people. Okay. But, um, and you could get up close and listen to the conversations and even speak with some of the members of the club if you'd like. But, yeah. All right, go. Today that are advertised as open press, are we going to be allowed in? Those will be, yes. Okay. Because, again, this is a private club. Yeah, no, that, I just want to make sure. So it was... He was more concerned about his members being in the room than you guys. And I'm sorry about that. Because the club invited the media to speak. They did. They asked us to come. The club itself? They asked us to come. The club should have put some burn barrels for warmth and opened the doors. They should have. They brought us some ice right behind you. <laughs> oh, good. Hey, that's or someone warm. brought us That's ice. warm. <laughs> Oh, so you were like, I'm really excited. What do you say? Say what? Oh. <laughs> you don't have to talk to me. <laughs> I don't want to be out there. Okay. So I noticed there are at least three politicians in there. The politicians are allowed to stay. The media, who don't work for the government, are not allowed to stay. Of course, technically, in New Hampshire, a lot of politicians don't really work for the government either because they are uh, you know, state reps who only get paid 100 bucks a year. Are you with this Dr. Paul's campaign, too? Uh, you were the last one, right? I was. I forgot your name. Is it, I'm Bob oh. Goodman. Oh, okay, yeah. Question for you. Do you have confidence that, that Dr. Paul will uh, actually cut the government? Reagan and, and Dr. Paul sound a lot alike, but Reagan threw the government 60%. You ever hear the story about, you know, I'm not even staff, I can't volunteer, but even at that, you know, you ever hear the old saying that, you know, one, you don't want to be on camera, and two, you know, you've got nothing to say? Well, you can That's say me. that That's if you me. want. <laughs> <laughs> but you're obviously confident enough to still be on the team oh, I think, in some form or fashion. I think he's a great guy. <laughs> All right, Mr. Goodman, thanks for your time. Hampshire voter. Speaking as a New Hampshire voter. <laughs> Speaking as a New Hampshire voter, what? That's my feeling. That's your what? He's a great guy. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Do you have any concerns about the fact the press was kicked out of this? Much of it? Okay. I'll take that as your answer. And thanks again for your time. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Freekeen.com. Freekeen.com believes Keen is the best destination for pro-liberty activists like you. Keen is an exciting and challenging ground floor opportunity. Visit move.freekeen.com and read over 108 reasons to move to Keen. Help us free the beautiful little city of Keen from the clutches of the government. Learn why you should move to Keen at move.freekeen.com.